Hey, it's Dak Prescott. Hey, it's Jalen Ramsey. Hey, it's Debo Samuel, and I'm coming to NBA 2K. I'm the newest member of the NBA 2K crossover series. Let's beat the visiting team, Chicago Bulls. At center, Daryl Adrian. At power forward, John Collins. At the other forward position, Dennis Scott. At shooting guard, Tracy McGrady. At the other guard position, Steve Nash. The head coach of the visiting team is Greg Popovich. Let's be joined the home team! At center, standing 7 foot 2, number 19. Number 19! At the power forward position, 6 feet 10 inches, number 28, Arnold! Number 28! The other forward, standing 6 foot 8, number 12, number 12! Shooting guard, standing six foot eight, number ten, Kevin, number ten. The other guard, at six foot six inches, number seven, Kobe, number seven. The head coach of your home team, once again, your We've been building to this all season, the NBA Finals. Welcome and thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports. With Grant Hill and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce is our reporter. Allie, take it away. Rudy Gobert has had his skeptics. He said, quote, no one ever thought I could be an NBA player or one of the leaders on my team. It's the story of my life and something that I embrace. The better you get, the more people talk. So I take every criticism as a compliment. Either way, you cannot let it affect you. Brian? Good stuff, Hallie. Thanks. And a look at the starters for the Bulls. And it's prime time in at the three spot. You look at the Bulls, a whole year of blood, sweat, and tears comes down to this. This is when the lights are their brightest, B.A. The eyes of the whole world fixed upon you. Do you have what it takes to win it all? Here's the prodigy. Pass to prime time. Here's the prodigy. Picked it out of midair. So it's Chicago now. Here's Scott. No good from outside. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Shots good and by Garbage Man. Effort play, pursuing the basketball. Love how he puts in the work. Here's Nash. Out to the right wing. Pass to McGrady. Here's Nash. Here's Scott. It's hauled in by Doc. 
high percentage look for him. But bottom line, they're not all going to go down. The bulldozer gets the bucket. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Now here's Collins. Old team foul. Number 28. First personal foul. First team foul. First minute and a half of basketball played here in this one. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Very hard not to foul a guy who's in constant motion. Collins, once again, bringing the energy to him. Free throw is good. What's interesting about John Collins, he plays fast, but he's also measured in his approach. And both free throws good for Collins. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. Pass to the prodigy. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Well, that was clearly a foul. Shooting for the home team. Number seven. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. So he makes both from the line. Here's Nash. To the right side. Collins right side. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Let's it fly from 18. And the jumper falls for him. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. The 11-footer. That one's wide left. Gone three of four. Off to a nice start. Here's Doc. Sends it home from three-point land. They have really found a rhythm here early. Four for five to start this game. It's tipped. Here's the prodigy. Soft touch off the glass. And <laughs> their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Looking now for some consistency. Just too many missed shots. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result. Nash. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. Pass to McGrady. Here's Nash. 
to the paint to end the run. And so he draws the foul and into the line to shoot a pair. First personal foul, third team foul. At the line for the Bulls, Tracy Brady taking two shots. Drops the first. Old shots good from the strike. Gone one or two from three point land so far. Pass to prime time. And he lobs it up to the rim. They played with fantastic energy from the opening tip. Already ahead by double digits, trying to run away and not look back. Here's McGrady. Down low. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Team foul. At the line for the Bulls. He's off on the first. Second one. Gone six of seven and looking good. Pass to the beast. Here's prime time. Here's Che. Collins defending. To the wing on the left. The beast. And the first shot of the night for him. Missing. Ooh, the defense gets away with a late rotation. That's a shot he normally makes. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's McGrady. Shot clock at five. And that's Tracy good. McGrady. His first bucket of the game. And obviously their goal right now is to feed him the ball and get him going. Because he's someone that you lean on at the offensive end. Establish him early. And prime time gets it to go. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Pass to McGrady. Out left to the wing. And here's Collins. Here's Nash. Got a hand on it. They recover it. Goes up again. The rebound by Garbage Man. Gone 7 of 9. A solid percentage so far. Here's prime time. Inside. To the inside. And the basket by Nash. As John continues to develop his offensive skill set, it's nice to see him show awareness as a distributor. Pass to the beast. Here's Che. Here's the beast. Off the mark there with a three. Chicago trailing here. Here's Nash. To the middle. And the layup is good. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Pass to prime time. Here's the beast. The three is up. Nails it from beyond the arc. 
Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Chicago calls timeout. It may be a player's league, but the coaches obviously play a big part as well. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. A line change here for Chicago. Here's the prodigy. Pass to Williamson. Here's Matumbo. Here's Kittles. Here's Bates. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes. And the three off target. And so far, they've had the advantage on the boards. Throws it up high. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Pass to the prodigy. Goes back up. And there's the rejection. There's the triple. The bulldozer can't get it to go. Chicago has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Pass to primetime. Here's the prodigy. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal foul, second team foul. Shooting for the home team. Number seven. Two shots. Shoot two. And he knocks down the first one. fall so he hits both of them and for Chicago they're shooting just 21% in the first quarter to the left side wing pass to Kittles kicks it out to Williamson here's Bates to halt the run it's rebounded by primetime so far rebounding has been a focal point for them garbage man and he was fouled in the act of shooting opportunity for a three-point play here and early on they've been on a tear just getting whatever they want offensively they established the pace they made shots this is why they're way out in front one shot one shot time stopping this run and B.A. can't afford to keep coming up empty the prodigy can't hit gone two of five from deep with the drive and it's flushed down a nice jam they've controlled the paint so far that's been the difference I'll tell you this was their strategy coming in they obviously identified a weakness there inside and another look at the mobile one drive as he put it into overdrive. I love it. Making their own luck. You don't want to let off the gas with the lead. Continue to make things happen. I don't know how many misses that is in a row, but I know it's ugly. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they maintain their focus. And the buzzer sounds to end the first, and we got a blowout underway here. Delivering the blowout. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Time for us 
to get back into it here in game one. And from what we've seen here from the home team, what's your take so far? Oh, what I love was that first quarter was all about leaking out and capitalizing in transition. That's their mindset. Attack, attack, and attack some more. You're not going to beat them playing soft. On the court for Chicago. Pass to Kittles. Now here's Williamson. Here's Bates. Beyond the arc. That's good. And it's Williamson with the assist. Drawing attention from the defense. Zion knows there's probably someone else open. He understands the game. Launches it. Doc gets the bucket. Give him eight. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Over to the left wing. Here's Scott. It's rebounded by Primetime. Meeting right at the rim. He typically converts in those situations. Not this time. Up high and down it goes on the lob. But gliding the pass to where it needed to be. Wow, a strong finish to seal the deal. Here's Scott. And he drops it in from the low post. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. He'll take possessions like that one all day. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. First team foul. Shooting for the home team. Number 12. At the line for two. First free throw is good. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. For Chicago, they've gone two of four here in the second quarter. Great open look there. Not just a knockdown shooter. He does a great job of finding space for his shot. Pass to primetime. Out to the wing. Here's the prodigy. Give him eight. Launches a three. Doc, no good. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. Another shot. And the layup is good. He's got five. The defense getting out-hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Here's prime time. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your home team. Number 12, two shots. And the first one at the line is good. So he hits both. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Pass to McGrady. Four on the clock. For three. It doesn't go for him. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. This one for three. Chicago grabs the miss.
Three minutes of action thus far in the second. He got a piece of it. And he's able to get it back. And gets Both hacked team by team the D. Number He'll 12. go to the line. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Bulls. Tracy McGrady taking two shots. First one falls for him. And that's good as he hits both shots. Gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Home team. <laughs> and we'd all love to hear what goes on in those huddles, but we just get the snapshots. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. Fans, make some noise for your dance team. Here's Doc. Give him eight. Here's the prodigy. The 15-footer is good. He's got 10. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They have came in focused and they've executed. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Pass to Doc. Here's the bulldozer. Collins defending. The bulldozer gets the bucket. Assist goes to The Bulls have gone 5 of 10 in the second quarter. Here's McGrady. The foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Second team foul. Shooting for Chicago. Tracy McGrady at the line for two. That free throw, no good. And he can't make the second free throw either. Missed them both. Gone four for six here in the second. Pass to Doc. Here's the prodigy. Just five on the clock. Here's Garbage Man. Collins with the rebound. Chicago has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Pass to McGrady. To the wing. Right side. It's stolen. Here we go. One on one. Incredible. I mean, high energy in transition. Just beating the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Here's Doc. That's good. For the day, he's four for six. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Pass to Collins. And a miss layup. A rare miss for him at point blank range. That's one he'd like to have back. The bulldozer. Oh, and there's a one hand jam. And I love how he's pushing the tempo and creating for others. Chicago, he does this game in and game out. Incredible. You know what it is? It's his creativity. That's making this engine run. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Coach definitely wants to talk about their interior defense, which has not been impressive. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. The Bulls making a switch here. Knocked loose. 
Here's primetime. Driving to the basket. Gets it to go. That makes him two for three in this game. They have no answer defensively inside. Here's Nash. Pass to McGrady. And they're on the run. Here's primetime. And the big dunk at the end of the break. They're really in control on both ends of the floor right now. Forcing turnovers and finding easy points while the other guys struggle to keep up. Two Here's Matumbo. Here's Nash. It's deflected. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. To the paint. The bulldozer gets the bucket. Ten points for him. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Pass to Williamson. Out to the right wing. Here's the prodigy. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Fourth personal foul, third team foul. At the line for the Bulls. Number seven, taking two shots. No good on the free throw. No good on the second free throw. As we're seeing, missing free throws can become contagious. And now they're trying to work their way through this. Here's the prodigy. Misses the three. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. Tipped. Pass to the prodigy. And 101 left in the first half. Here's Bates. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. Gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Right wing. Releases. And prime time gets it to go. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Pass to Doc. Here's prime time. The three. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. They have laid on him all quarter. And it has worked to perfection. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Bates. Crops one in from the wing. He's got seven. Shooting much better this quarter than last. You can see his confidence growing. Here's the prodigy. Deflected! Down low. <laughs> you could just see how in sync they were there. That's what it takes to pull that off. From deep. No good. Misses at the buzzer. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. Delivering the blowout. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks. I'm here with Coach Popovich. And, Pop, I know you're not happy with the first half. They've taken the fight to you thus far. How do you take it back? Yeah, they've been the, the aggressive team. I think we've played really soft so far. Really pathetic defensive performance. Coach, hopefully more toughness from your team in the second half. Thanks. Okay, Allie, appreciate it. And, folks, we'll be back after halftime to begin the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, we certainly hope you enjoyed the first half. There's nothing like the NBA Finals. I'm Ernie Johnson with Kenny Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Taking a look at this home squad, they've taken this opening game by storm, playing championship-level ball on both ends of the floor. If the first half is any indication of what this series will be like, we may be in for a show. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about this home team? They score very effectively. With the exception of ball movement and play calling, they were able to exploit multiple weaknesses in the defense. They've got to feel good about themselves running out to a huge lead. And Shaq, what'd you think about Chicago? Just bad interior defense from them throughout the half. They didn't push around, not protecting the rim, allowing easy looks. That's the kind of D I love to face. I haven't had at least 30 by now, guys. And that's all we have for now. 
tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, Goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Energy is palpable in this arena. Welcome back to the NBA Finals on 2K Sports. Chicago shooting at 32% from the floor. Not good. And it's the bulldozer in it to four. Pass to Nash. Takes the three. And no good. Shooting 71%. Their offense has looked unstoppable all game long. And for the Bulls. Oh, swiped away. Here's Scott. Poke loose. From deep three-point range. And that one is hammered home. His rebounding so seriously. This dude is such a grinder. His teammates appreciate the effort. Just goes all out on the glass. You know, this is one of his specialties, keeping plays alive, creating second chance opportunities. You know, not the smartest play a defender can make there. Three shots. Three shots. And he's good on the first of three. And he's good on the second. And he can't make it three for three. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Pass to primetime. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. The bulldozer. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Here we go. Here's prime time. Off target from outside. Well, Chicago shooting a low 31%. Their offense is lacking. Can't get it to fall. Great anticipation defensively. I love how he turned an easy look into a difficult play. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. Putting consistent pressure on this defense. Just the threat of him out there makes this offense work. Collins outside. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Pass to Nash. Home team foul. Number seven. First personal foul. Second team foul. Now into the lineup for the Bulls. Tracy McGrady. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Yeah, this is the elevated energy level you expect in the postseason. Chasing down blocks and making an impact. Here's Nash. 
And they call an illegal screen here. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Going 0 for 2 from outside here on the third. And he lobs it up. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Here's the break. It's tipped. And he gets it back. Here's McGrady. Buried from 15 feet out. He's got 11. Finally getting one to fall. They were 0 for 3 to start this half. That's the garbage man. Inside. Here's the bulldozer. And he takes that one up and powers it through. He's a living highlight reel. Seriously, that could end up being one of the best dunks of the year. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. And it's blocked. Very cold start to the second half. One for five. Looking for some continuity. Here's the beast. Pass to the prodigy. To the inside. Shot's good by Garbage Man. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Here's McGrady. Offline with a three. Gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. Here's the beast. Pulls it. Can't nail the jumper. Great work by the defense. That's the intensity coaches want to see. Scott. Oh, there's a killer two-hand slam. <laughs> Crashes the glass with authority, then puts it back strong. Next level, man. This guy's just going out and making a play. Pass to the prodigy. And a pass break now for the Bulls. Here's Nash. And he lays it in on the break. Great recognition. Understanding that that one is all him. Sometimes that's the call. You want to be unselfish, but even more so, you want to be effective. That was another look at our mobile one drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, they have a long way to go, but attacking the rim like that is a great way to start a comeback. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. Hey, when in doubt, won the defender off the screen. And you know, with a result like that, we'll see them run it again. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. They get it back. Collins, no good. Gone six for nine in the half. Here's the prodigy. Oh, are you kidding me? That'll be a move to remember. Wow. Yeah, great creativity in the air. Here's Nash. It's blocked. Pass to Collins. Here's Nash. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. Here's the beast. And he's going for the lob! Great teamwork and great timing. Oh, spectacular play. Chicago has gone 0 for 2 from outside here on the third. Pass to Kittles. Here's McGrady. He's got 11. Count that bucket. He's got 13. Efficient performance from him. Not the case for everyone else on his team. Here's the beast. Here's prime time. Give him 20. Two minutes in Pass to the beast. Two takes minutes. a three. No luck on that one. Now Chicago takes it the other way. 149 left in the third quarter. Again with the block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. The officials were right on top of that one. First personal foul. 
first team foul. At the line for your home team, number seven, taking two shots. The first one falls. It's both from the strike. There's a minute 40 left in the third. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Williamson outside. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. This is where you like to see Zion go to work in the lane, where his size is a decided advantage. At the line for the Bulls, Zion Williams. Two shots. First one falls for him. And we all know about Zion Williamson's athleticism. Now he must continue adding to his game. Williamson hits them both. They're finding a rhythm from the line as they try to cut into this deficit. Pass to Doc. Here's prime time. Down low. There's the prodigy. And that one goes. He's now recorded his fifth bucket in eight tries. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Williamson outside. 51 seconds left in the third quarter. Ball stolen. And here's the fast break. Here's prime time. Rebound by the Bulls. Here's Bates. He's got 11. Pass to the Prodigy. And he dunks it down. There you go. He's a monster at the rim. So athletic. Obviously, he plays on the attack. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Doc. Let's go with a three. Pure from three-point range. He's got 15. Throughout the evening, he's gotten to his spots, and the defense has not adjusted. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot, so he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Doc. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he'll sit the rest of this one out. Number seven, taking two shots. Two shots. First free throw is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Now here's Thompson. One second left. No good there. And three quarters of play in the books. This one's all but over already. Delivering the blowout. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Greg Popovich addressing his team. Let's hear what he had to say. Cut, play. You just, like, something magical is going to happen. Okay? You got to make things happen. Let's score here and let's go get some stops. And Greg Popovich putting the responsibility on his players to take more action. We'll see if they can get it done. Yeah, he wants them to take charge of this game. Don't be passive. He wants them to impose their will. 
And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And it's baddest one in at the five, down low. The Bulls shooting 32% for this game, not what they're hoping for. Bates misses. And gearing up for the alley-oop, just couldn't finish the play. You know, this is something you practice over and over again. I'm surprised they couldn't execute. Like a matador. Olay! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Back to Iguodala. Pass to Avdia. Iguodala outside. Six to shoot. On the take. Sweet little floater. Even with the D in Iggy's grill, he still knocks down those looks. He's been in this league for a while, and he is comfortable rising up and burying contested shots. Back to Thompson. Pass to Cool Hands. Third personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your home team. Number one. At the line for two. He makes the first. Off on that one. So he goes one out of two at the line. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Knocks it loose. And here they go on a free run to the bucket. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam top it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. A nice shot by Bates. Strong performance from him. But he may need to do even more if they're going to win this game. To the middle. Here's baddest one. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Gobert. Home team ball. Moving along. Two minutes gone in the fourth. Pass to the monster. Here's the beast. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. It's Iguodala on the wing. The ball's knocked loose. To the paint. Oh, great teamwork right there. Hey, you got to love the finish. Bringing it down with some attitude. For Chicago, they've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. If you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Here's the beast. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. The Bulls making a switch here. Adrian. Well, the Bulls shooting around 33%. Not the best offensive efficiency. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Here's cool hands. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Shooting for the home team, number one, at the line for one.
Here's Nella. And here comes the break from deep. Here's the monster. Here's baddest one. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Basket's good. Back in the day, someone would have blocked him out, but times have changed. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now in this fourth quarter. Take it away! Over to the wing. Tries it from 19. Misses off the right iron. I'll tell you what, he's been off target all night, and his teammates have had to rally. Oh, there's the alley! And it's good for two. Gobert's got his first bucket in this one. In a league of huge guys, Gobert's size stands out, helps him absorb contact. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Team. Number one. Two shots. That free throw, no good. He sinks the second. For Chicago, they've got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Pass to Avdia. And here's Iguodala. Here's Nash. Shot clock at six. Ooh, it's stolen away. And they're on the break. Here's the Beast. Rips down the breakaway slam. An aggressive move to a strong finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. It's Iguodala on the wing. Can't hit that one. Going 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. He launches a 3! The shot by Cool Hands, no good. The Bulls shooting about 43% since the fourth quarter began. The layup off target. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Pass to Battis one. And the layup is good off the glass. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. Well, Chicago's shooting just 33% so far in this game. Here's Nash. It's Avdia on the wing. And terrific work on the offensive glass as he picks up the deuce. He has to show real leadership out there and take this game into his own hands because he's shooting the ball well. Pass to the Beast. Here's Mr. Moves. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Here's Cool Head. And Gobert with a block. What a block by Gobert. You expect that from a player who has led the league in blocks. Here's Nash. And the jumper is good at the free throw line. Just taking what the defense allows, and that's a shot he'll make all night. Pass to Mr. Moves. Here's the beast. A minute 22 left in the fourth. From behind the arc. It's rebounded by Rudy Gobert. Not himself from range right now, but the only way out of this funk is to keep trying. Uses the glass to finish the layup. <laughs> One positive takeaway, 
at least they're finally showing signs of life out there. They put together some great possessions here at the end. It's a shame they could have used this run much earlier. Here's Battist one, defended by Gobert. Pass to the Beast. It's good. Off the glass. <laughs> this has to feel good. They gave their fans a show and secured the W. They're going to win by a nice margin. The effort was there all night. Here's Nash. Now here's Iguodala. Pulls up at the elbow. Doesn't go that time. Here's Cool Hands. And so the home crowd treated to a win. And it always takes a lot of pressure off the team when they get the win in game one. It's the most important game of the series. They've shown they know how to beat this team. The formula's in place. Now they just have to stick with it for the next few games. So that's a wrap for the first game of the NBA Finals. For Ali LaFour, Grant Hill, and Steve Smith, this is Brian Anderson with our 2K Sports crew signing off. We'll see you next time.